Hello guys, my name is Virender and today we are here to talk about GSA examination. So in this video, what do we want to do? First, I have given you the journal section of the solution. Now, we will discuss the geology section. Ko discuss okay, so we, again, this video will be in two parts. Okay, part 1 and part 2. In part 1, I will talk about 60 questions. Ki baat in the coming video, I will be talking about the remaining 60 questions. Guys, in the previous videos, I have seen that I have... There are some questions which are wrong. It's okay, you guys can, can comment those questions in the comment section. So I am updating those questions in the description. So jo main answers update kar raho, aap meri description bhi videos ke check karo. Waha pe questions update ho So here till the key is not released. So all these are tentative answers. Okay. So I am going with the most probable answer. So yaar, agar main 120 questions ke answer de raho, to 5-6 galat ho ja to ho sakte hai. So if you think you are right and if you are sure about your answer, please write down in the comment section. I will be updating them in the description. So without wasting your time, let's start our analysis of the paper. Okay. So guys, let's start. This is our paper. So first question is the main difference between gradualism and catastrophism is based on which one of the following geomorphic attributes. So I'm not sure about this answer, but my friends are saying that its answer is geomorphic process. Okay, let's move to the question number second. Which one of the following processes played the most dominant role during evolution stages of the atmosphere in defining the present day oxygen constitution of the atmosphere? Again, guys, this is not a direct question. Its answer is again debatable. Okay, and if I have to choose the answer of this question, I will go with photosynthesis. But during the second stage of the evolution of the atmosphere, in the second evolution, mein kya hua tha? Uh, water vapors in the form of the steams got accumulated in the atmosphere. So, that was our second major atmosphere. Tha. But third jo major atmosphere, at that time, what was happening? Plants during the photosynthesis, time, basically, the present day atmosphere, which we see, is based on the human activities. So, Plants when for a photosynthesis current start kiya tha, which led to the accumulation of the oxygen. Okay, so some are saying A option, but if I have to choose, I will go with the photosynthesis one. Now the third question, the third question is the zone marking the end of the decrease in temperature with increase in latitude. Its correct answer is mesopause, but some are debating it with the tropopause, but its answer is mesopause. Fourth question, match list one, match list two. So it is a very simple question from igneous structures. Okay. So here, lacolith, lopolith, facolith, stocks. Okay, guys. So this is a very simple question and its correct answer is D. Next question we have. Let me unzoom it a bit. Consider the following statements regarding continental lithosphere. Okay, the first option is it consists of buoyant, low density, crust, and upper mantle. This is wrong. Okay, why it is wrong? Because lithosphere is made up of upper part of the upper mantle. Okay, it is not entirely made of the upper mantle. So first is wrong. Second goes part. Part of the lithosphere takes part in the mantle convection process. It is again wrong. Again, third, its every thickness is about 150. This is correct. So, correct option is B only. The critical temperature at which all magnetic materials become non-magnetic, its Curie point. Consider the following statement. It is characterized by necessary <clears throat> channel slope and shape to maintain velocity required to transfer. So, I am not sure about this answer, this question's answer. So, what you guys can do, you guys can comment the answer of this question in the comment section so we can decide the answer and I will be updating the answers of those questions which I am not going to cover in the uh, description. So, you guys, after watching the video, you guys can see the description if I have uh, updated. Sometimes the questions galat bhi hai, I will be changing them and uh, updating them in the description. Okay, guys. Eighth question, which one of the following is not associated with a subcast? Again, I'm not sure, but if I have to choose, I will go with subtitle environment. Question number ninth, consider the following statements regarding incised meanders. So let's read them. It is a depositional feature. No, it is not a depositional feature. So first, it represents a relative drop in base level. Yes, it represents it. It generally flows in steep, narrow bedrock valley. Yes. It is associated with flood press. No. So correct options are only two and three. So this is your answer. Now let's move to the next question. Match list one and list two and select the correct answer. Blind valley, hanging valley, inside valley, lowest valley. This is again a very simple answer. Okay, guys. Now, <clears throat> lowest, lowest are for wind. 
Okay, incised valleys of river. Good. So the correct answer is B. A cubic rock piece having one dimension of two meter was broken into eight cubes having one dimension of one meter. What will be the change in the surface area because of this mechanical weathering process? Okay, so you have to calculate the surface area. He has done in the question 6a square 24, then 1 meter 6 into 6, then into 8, 48. So its answer is surface area will be doubled. In a basaltic terrain, which one of the following clay minerals will be present in the low mean annulus? Mectite is the right answer here. Which one of the following materials shows a combination of recoverable elastic strain and permanent deformation? Its correct answer is elastic plastic. Match the following here linear strain, shear strain, uniaxial strain, and pure strain. Okay, guys. So, here you need to match them. So, here if we see the linear strain, linear strain gives it matches with the change in length parallel to the given coordinate. Okay, so A is with two. Okay, options. Options in A2, so B and C, you have to solve one more. B, shear strain. Shear strain goes with the change in shape by changes in angle. Okay, so B is with the three. So this is your correct answer. B, fold in which the hinge zones are completely detached from the limbs are called intrafolial folds. Okay, so chevron, it has drawn like this. Con concentric is like this. So correct option is your intrafolial folds. Which one of the following linear deformation structure is found restricted to the interface between a competent rock and an incompetent? It is a mullion. Which consider the following statements regarding faults. <clears throat> Let's read them. The terms wraps and flats are used for steep and sub horizontal. No, this is wrong. Sinistral sense sticks and flats are called right letter. Good, this is right. Two separate normal faults dipping towards each other create a whole grab and success. Yes. No, 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 no. They do not create a, create a grab and structure. Okay, this is wrong. A fault that steepens downward is called a listric fault, while downward flattening faults are called anti listric. This is correct. So we have found two correct options, two and four. So option is two and four. B is your correct answer. Fold that are sideways is terms and neutral fold. The difference between the maximum and minimum principal stress, differential stress. Which one of the following statement regarding fractures is not correct? Increasing the confining pressure make it necessary to increase in the order of fracture. Yes, correct. Fracture initiation requires a differential stress that exceeds the strength of it. This is also correct. In a brittle regime, a deforming rock accumulates only elastic strain before it fractures at a certain critical level. This is again correct. So, a key option bacha, wahi wrong hoga. Compressive strength of a rock is always less than its tensile Yes, it is wrong. It can be more than the stress strength in some cases. So, this is wrong. So, D is your correct option here. <laughs> Joint surfaces that display a regular pattern of subtle ridges and grooves diverging from a point or a central axis are known as plumo structure. Which one of the following sets combination you should expect to find while carrying out fieldwork in a fault and gear? So, the jab bhi humari fault or shear zone ki baad hai, hume gauze aur myelonite hamesha milte hai wahan pe. So, jada soch rahe hai nahi, agar gauze likha hai, myelonite hai, to ye option, this is your correct option. In a structure contour map, an area is enclosed by one or more contours. Okay, this question I'm not sure. So it is not a Chopin structure, it is not ambiguous. I'm confused between ring and closed structure. Okay, so you guys can comment the answer of this question also. Question number 24, which one of the following statement regarding rose diagram? So I'm going to skip this question also. You guys can answer this also. So which one among the following pairs in the correctly matched? Okay, monoclinic 2 by M, 2 by no, orthoromic 6 by M, 6 by no, tetragonal, this is the right answer here. Next, the mineral pyrite, which are the final, diploidal class. The crystal 4 is keep face, batana, so this is 6, 4, 8, this is 2, 3, 0. <coughs> Tetrahedral, repeat distance, you guys can find it on your own. Lazardite belongs to which are serpentine? Acrimide, saurosilicates. Which one of the following minerals exhibit a parasitic bogolide and Hutton Kohler? Hutton Locher is shown by plagioclase. 
okay <laughs> first it is, it is a solid solution which one of the following pairs of the mineral is not an example of polymerization calcite and iron same tridimide and crystallite so2 pyrite and marcite same edenbite and anisotrite is your only option which are not representing polymorphism this one some specimens of a plagioclase show spectacular colors ranging from blue to green yellow or red the iridescence is called labradorescence which of the following statement regarding micas is correct okay let's read them micas are silicates with a layered crystal structure in which sheets of moh octahedra sandwich between two invert this is correct in muscovy white two out of three octahedra sites are occupied mainly by al and in biotite octahedra mena by fe and mg this is again correct okay so last option muscovy white differs from phlogophyte and biotite in having an optical plane difference of 010 and usually has higher 2v then this is again correct so both are, all these three are correct so correct option is 1 2 3 let's move to the next question 36 again we have to find which is correct okay so here i can see that third option basal section of it shows cleavage this is wrong okay so let's read others also so third is wrong so they have asked so we are left with one and two option okay so we have to read them the essential feature of the structure of all amphibolite is the presence of sil or tetrahedral link to form chains this is right so the option is one and two consider the following statement regarding the association between margin series and plate tectonic series <clears throat> Thorite matrix are produced only at divergent boundaries. No, they are not only produced at. They are not produced only at divergent produces. Okay, so they have used the word only. They can produce produced at other settings also. Alkaline alkaline magmas are produced only at convergent boundaries. Yes. Alkaline magmas are produced at convergence and within plate boundaries. Yes. Thorite magmas are produced at divergent convergence. Yes. So its answer is two, three, and four. Ultramafic volcanic rocks with spinific texture. Okay, its answer is comatite. Now, concordating lens, concordant lens shaped igneous intrusion, lacolith. The texture in a basaltic rock, which between plagioclases and grains, are occupied by pyroxene. Okay, so most of the students are confused with ophitic and sphitic, but its answer is intergranular. the volcanic debris which mixes with sufficient water is termed as lahar in a diopside albite and orthite tertiary system the curve along which both diopside and plagioclase can coexist is cotectical in many dives phenocrest facies get concentrated towards the center of the dikes away from the wall due to flow segregation so which one among the following basalt depleted in layer it's simple not normal mid oceanic ridge basalt so d is your correct answer question number 45 which one of the following pairs of mineral is formed during the phenytization of carbonatite options are agrean and orthoclase orthoclase and plagioclase plagioclase and microclean microclean and azrin so guys the c and d cannot be your answer but i am confused between a and b option okay so you guys can answer this in comments again next <clears throat> granitic rock and containing higher al2o3 and having mica garnet and cordite plus normal corundum is termed as s type granitite which one of the following magma types represent a high liquidus temperature again comatite is the right answer here which one of the following basalt types is generated in within plate settings aided by mantle plume activity its answer is continental flood basalt melanosomes is a question gates mein bhi aaya tha so its answer is magmatite Pseudo tectarite is commonly formed by frictional heating. Which one among the following represents the metamorphism of a local extent? Impact metamorphism. Perfectly developed foliation, independent of bedding, resulting from the parallel arrangement of very fine grained phyllosilicate in metamorphic rocks is called. So here, phyll. They have using the word phyllosilicates. So go with the slaty cleavage. Snowball garnet texture is always in tectonic. next question we are having consider the following statement metamorphic fabrics commonly reflect reflect the alignment of some or 
the constituent mineral grains in the particular. This is right. Preferred orientations may develop as a result of mechanical rotation of original symmetric grains into the new. This is again right. So both the statements are right. So B is your correct option. The texture in which pyroblasts show small folds in the inclusion trails within it is called helicytic texture. <clears throat> Granoblastic polygonal is a texture commonly present in quartzite. With the degree of freedom can be ascribed to a zone if PT are considered as only two in only intersections. So two variables. So two is the answer. The reaction. Muscovite plus quartzite is eliminate plus KFL. This is a typical reaction. This is a discontinuous reaction. Okay. Now we are having a next question in the blue switch phase is rock which one of the following minerals shows the blue color prominently here both glucophane and lacinone are blue color but glucophane is more prominent in blue color and equilogate this is these are the classical geomorphic reactions they are asking so it's again option is garnet so because equilogate phases may garnet hamara show karta hai so this is your c is the correct answer so guys agar aapko mera solutions acche lage and if you have liked my content and if you have enjoyed the video please like and subscribe aur jin questions mein aapko doubt hai jahan yahan lagta hai ki mera question kahan se galat hai please comments mein bataye mujhe so that we can discuss and i can update those questions in the description thank you guys support and please subscribe my channel thank you